Oh, hello and what is up you guys? Anthony here from Double Tap Media. We're in the car and we are on our way to Quick Shot in Shamong, Shamong, New Jersey to go look at the GNG Armament ARP9, which is a gun I've been looking at, and to get the M4 worked on. Yes, I do drive around 40 to 45 minutes to get my guns worked on and to go play. That should say something about Quick Shot and like how good they are. I love the field, like I did say. It is a mini nuke town, it's awesome. The staff there is amazing. The players there are very friendly. We just did a night game. If you guys didn't see on my Instagram, um, I am part of IPA now, Idiots Playing Airsoft. Um, we did do a night game there uh, a couple weeks ago. It was amazing. I only played for like two or three games because I didn't have the necessities to play, but it was an amazing game and I did have a lot of fun. Sorry if my camera's shaky, but we are en route to our location. So I will see you guys at the shop. have the DNG ARP9. Uh, we have it in the black and blue. As you can hear, Kaylin is shooting it. Um, this gun is really, really cool. I love this gun and I'm, I'm just dying to test it out and take a look at it. Um, it is very different when nobody is here, but let's take Chrono it and take a look. the chrono ring chrono wing, uh slash paintball section of quick shot i do have the arp 9 or the arp 9 by gng armament in my hands right here you do have a well i mean today we do have the blue accented arp 9 but let's get into the gun starting with the orange tip this does come off but you do got to put some love and effort into it but it does come off it is reverse threaded you do have your blue inner barrel because this is blue accented your flip up sights on the M lock rail, your ambidextrous charge handle, and your rotary hop up. And you just flip it back. And they do sell the um, the attachments for the M lock rails to put here, here, and here. Or if you just want to run a red dot or anything like that, you just leave it as is. Fire selector is not ambidextrous. You do have the high, 300 round high cap right here. Just pull that out. And when you pop it back in, you have to hear that distinctive click. Moving on, you do have your very trigger sensitive trigger. And your blue accents right here on the bottom and right here where the motor is. Now moving back to here, it, uh, you do have your stock, which is a two point stock. So one, come on, and two. And it sits like that. Pop your battery out here. Since I am outside and doing this video, you guys have seen videos like this numerous times, so I'm not even gonna get into it. You just pop this off, your battery comes out. It's 11.1 .1 LiPo ready, and this stock does come off like you guys did see in the other videos. So this is the gun. I do not have any cons with this gun. All the pros, I mean, look at the gun. It is amazing. I am a righty, so the lefty or ambidextrous stuff doesn't really matter to me. This gun does have a MOSFET in it, which is amazing. And to program it, you hold down your semi, for 10 seconds and after that the gun does go into a three round burst on the full auto so let's do it this trigger is very very sensitive so without further ado let's shoot it have some fun and see how the gun performs that sounds crazy what's it chronoing at 294 oh is it probably because the battery's dead or not fully charged. 295. See, I can't even see those babies. It, you're hitting the cowboy. I know. That's crazy. I'm trying to get in between with like necktie. Okay, one, say hi to everybody. Yep, cool. Take 
Did you set it the three round or no? Yeah. Oh, you did? Shit. That's what it's on right now. Oh, it's three round when it's on auto? Yeah, you gotta hold, you hold semi on, uh, you hold semi for 10 seconds. And then it does it, yes. Yeah. I have that same gearbox set up just without the fuse in my, in my PDW. This kind of is really, really nice. Yeah, you need some mid caps for it. Yeah, I know. I don't know if they even have the mid caps here. I know they have the high caps. Yeah, it's a fun gun. Full oh. auto. Take two. That hurt my ears. That hurt mine. That's kind of OD. That is. The trigger response is insane. Have you ever shot Derek? Do you know Derek? You die now. Yeah. You ever shot his gun? The gray and black one? Yeah. Yeah, dude, that thing is insane. You just touch the trigger. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for today's video on the GNG ARP9 in the black and blue. I want to give a big thanks to Quick Shot in Shamong, New Jersey for letting me film and everything like that and having an amazing field. If you guys didn't see my last video on um, when I played, please go over there and look at it and take a look at their big showroom. But once again, thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, stuff like that. And I've, you know, I've noticed uh, the last time I played at quick shot or anywhere um some people did recognize me from the videos and from instagram so thank you guys so much for that and i mean yeah i mean i'm working on some videos uh and some products with my 3d printer so keep an eye out for that and i'll stop rambling like an idiot and i'll see you guys in the next video peace